Overall in the construction we have four major work fronts. The power supply, the material handling area, the process area, and our brownfield area. Um, as far as an update on each of those areas, our power supply, um, we're focused on construction of our substation. We're, our, our 69 kV power line, transmission line, that's now substantially complete. On the material handling, uh, again, we're focused on constructing our storage building. And then we're just now starting to excavate for our loadout building, which is where we'll load out our, our DEF product and our urea. And then in the process area, we're going to be topping out the uh, structural and the melt building here in the next week or so. Most of our major equipment is now set and we're starting to run pipe in, in the melt building. Granulation is a building next to melt and the granulation, our granulator is now set and our scrubber is in the process of being erected. And then in our uh, brownfield area, we're working on uh, the boiler area. We've set the boiler. We're installing the economizer. We're putting the boiler foundations in. And the ammonia area in our brownfield is where our high pressure ammonia pumps will be. That'll provide the feed to the uh, plant. And we've just completed the foundations and we're now backfilling that area. By mid-July, we'll set the high pressure ammonia pumps. So really four major work fronts for construction are in progress out here. Last week, we received our, our uh, CO2 carbon dioxide liquefaction skids. There are five skids and uh, were manufactured in Texas and Alabama, delivered to the site. They're now set. They're, they're stacked uh, double-decker and then one is, one is on the ground. So those are now in place. So the construction right now is 37% complete and we're focused on quarter two, late quarter two of 2017 to uh, be, be complete and, uh, and producing urea.